Okay, I thought I'd uh, go over the contents of my fire kit that I carry out and about. Uh, picked up this pouch. There's a big goat skin leather pouch. Just goes on the belt. And uh, I quite like it. It's uh, soft leather. So we'll see how it fares with wear and tear. Uh, I will be brutally honest with it. Uh, but I've had this for, I know, probably a week. And uh, I've had it out twice. But the contents inside is what I've been carrying. So forget about the carry method, but the contents inside is what I've been carrying for a lot, lot longer. So if I thought I'd crack it open and show you what my fire kit's going to be. So inside, I've got a couple of metal containers. So we'll just empty them all out. I've got a fire stick as well. And uh, the pouch is empty apart from this wee zip compartment at the front of it. Now inside the zip compartment, keep a spare bit of flint, a good big lump of flint. So maybe this will give you a bit of a hint of what way I'm going with my fire kit. So first of all we'll go for the modern methods. This is the Strike Force Supplies uh, Ultimate Fire Steel. So it's a great wee fire steel. Comes with uh, some wet fire which I've used. But I've just got some of the dry stuff there, some wicking, uh, wee bits of wick so I can fluff them out up for your initial spark. Uh, just for your tinder, but uh, that's part of it. And then they got a nice big fire steel in there, and uh, it does throw off amazing sparks. Got it in bright orange. The reason why is if I drop it in the woods, on the floor, I can find it very easily. Uh, you can get it in black also if you prefer, but uh, for me, I wanted visibility, so bright orange. Just side another wee cinnamon tin. Um, we've got some trioxane. This is probably the most modern part for fire that I've got on me. The American guys will know these a lot. You can get these on eBay in the UK, which is where I got this. I've had these for a long time. I've used them loads for, um, for fire lighting. If you are in absolute dire straits, you need to get a fire. This is your my last resort. Um, I just spark this one up and uh, then get a fire going. It will not take from a fire steel. You have to use a lighter as from memory. I think you just have to use a lighter. But uh, they are brilliant. So if you've got a lighter, which I do, I actually carry probably two lighters with me when I'm out. Um, absolute last ditch attempt, trioxane bar. Similar to the uh, the fuel tablets that we have, the military ones in the UK, but uh, these are a lot better. And just for now, there's some more uh, 4x2 cloth that's been cut up ready for charring. Uh, what I'm gonna also forage in there is some birch bark, but that's, that lives in there. Just now we tin. And then this is the Kindle Mint Cake tin, just held together by a bit of bicycle iron shoot. So pop that open. And I showed you this uh, before. But another way tin with a hole in it is for making char cloth. So we've got my flint and steel. And um, actually I know it's a bit silly, you know, in the woods you have plenty of woods and twigs about. But I always keep like a wee twig in there just for plugging the hole. Um, I had that twig since the first time I ever made charcoal, so I thought I'd hang on to it. But my flint steel and uh, tin for charring. And then my char cloth is kept inside this wee Shaw's uh, sweet tin as well. So I have plenty of char cloth in there. And uh, that's my primary use for making fire is going to be from flint and steel and char cloth. If I practice that skill, then I'll own that skill. And that's why 
I'm going the more more primitive flint and steel. Now, so a lot of people are saying, well, why aren't you using a uh, hand drill or a bow drill? And to be honest, uh, it's not something I'm really interested in. Flint and steel, I'm happy using that and developing that. I may get into bow drill at some point. But flint and steel and then a, a more modern ferro rod, that's my primary and secondary. And of course, you could always use another lighter. Okay, so we've got a lighter in there as well. Um, another fire steel. So two fire steels in this kit. And in my smock, I have another fire steel. So that's three fire steels on me. I have a couple of lighters. So I uh, definitely have ignition sources set out. And just a wee bit more cloth, just extra cloth for charring. And that is basically it. That is what is in my fire kit. Very simply packs all up and that's it. So any questions stick them down below and please feel free to like this video and share it and uh, if you're watching on Facebook uh, please comment as well and let me know what is in your fire kit. Stick up a couple of pictures of your fire kit and let's have a discussion about it. So thanks for watching. See you later.